good morning everybody hope that you all are having a blessed day now in this video i'm gonna try to make this one short sweet simple and we're gonna talk about one thing that a lot of people are seeing in their lines right now and it is this here goes one right here that is clearly a very good example now you see this right here a lot of people will see this and they will say oh man i got a fungus in my lawn i got a fungus i seen some weapon well the giveaway for a spider web is the spider web is going to sit on top of the grass blade now if you see a fungus the fungus is going to be on top of the grass blade it's going to be down in the grass and you're going to see a little bit of brown tips that's going to be on it as well you got one right here it's sitting on top of the grass blade we got one over here sitting on top of the grass blade there's one actually right there too as well that looks like a web you can see it i mean they are like coming out to party today there goes another one it's sitting on top of the grass blade here goes another one it's sitting on top of the grass blade as you look at this since it's early in the morning you can clearly see the spider right there one thing that can help you out is whenever you see a spider web like this if you blow it it will break it up so let's try it really quick now you see how it's kind of breaking up now if you got a fungus and you blow your breath on that fungus that mycelium is not moving anywhere so this is how you tell the difference if it's a spider web it's going to be on top of the grass blades and you seen me blow my breath on it it started to break up the web that's how you know if it's a spider web if it's a fungus there's four giveaways number one is going to have some type of spots on the grass blades you need to look for some lesions on the grass blades that's number one number two check and see if it's in somewhat of a circle sometimes those diseases will form in patterns and you can be able to stand over them and get a good look at them and be able to tell that way number three if it's mycelium the mycelium is going to be on top of the grass blade and it's going to reside throughout the whole entire plant and number four if it's mycelium you can blow it all you want to that thing ain't moving at all so I hope this video has helped you all decipher the difference between a spider web and a fungus. I told you this was going to be quick. Check this information, get out there on your lawn, and just make sure that it is a fungus before you just start slanging fungicides all on your lawn, okay? I thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.